In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving a Quadratic Inequality. We're asked to graph the solution here to this inequality. And to start graphing quadratic inequalities, I would want to have the quadratic on one side of the inequality and zero on the other side. So here I can either move the minus 5 over to the left to make the right hand zero, or move everything on the left hand side over to the right hand side to make the left hand side equal to zero. And to decide, once I have a quadratic, I would like for the leading term to be positive. And since this negative x squared is our leading term, it's currently negative, I'm going to move everything from the left hand side over to the right hand side. To make it a positive, I would add the x squared. To both sides, I would subtract a 4x from both sides. On the left-hand side, then, everything would cancel, leaving me 0. I've only been adding and subtracting, so the direction of that inequality stays the same. On the right-hand side, if I were to put all of these in descending order, I have x squared minus 4x minus 5. From here I have my quadratic on one side, 0 on the other. I would first look for where that quadratic equals 0, and I can find this by factoring the left-hand side. It factors by trial and error with an x and an x. The factors of a minus 5 would have to be 5 and 1, and I'll make the 5 negative and the 1 positive to give me a negative 4x in the middle. And now that I have two factors being multiplied to equal 0, I know that either the first one, x plus 1, would have to be 0. This happens when x equals negative 1. Or the second factor, x minus 5, would have to be 0. And this happens when x equals a positive 5. So our two points here are negative 1 and 5. I'm going to look at what happens to each one of these functions to the left of negative 1, between those two values, and to the right. Starting with our first factor, x plus 1 would be negative if I plugged in any values less than negative 1, and it would be positive for any values greater. Looking at the second factor, x minus 5, x minus 5 any value that I substitute greater than 5 would be positive, and any value less than 5 would be negative. And now that I've broken down where each one of those is positive or negative, since this inequality has them being multiplied, I can see that to the left of negative 1, I have a negative times a negative. This would be a positive. Between negative 1 and 5, I would have a positive times a negative which is negative, and to the right of 5, a positive times a positive is positive. And for this inequality, I'm looking for where my quadratic is greater than 0. So I'm looking for where it is positive. It would be positive to the left of negative 1 or to the right of positive 5. And then at these points, since it is just less than 0 and not equal to 0. I would graph these points as the empty circle not equal to negative 1 or 5. This is the graph of our inequality.